Benvenuto su Italiando. This is a lesson for beginner students, students who are already able to uh, say some basic uh, structure sentences, to have short conversations with uh, native speakers, or that are talking in Italian with their teacher. So I like to introduce you to three lifesaver questions. Tre frasi salvagente to keep the conversation going in Italian. As beginner students, as um, beginners in general, we tend to use our native language as a safe place during the conversation with another person who we know can speak our native language, for example, our teacher. And this is normal because um, we are not fluent in the second language or in the language we are learning yet. So we tend to use English, for example, as a safe place. But it's really important to keep the conversation going in Italian, at least as much as we can. Okay. Also, I guarantee you that your teacher will really, really appreciate it. Now let's go to the three live saver questions. Le tre frasi salvagente. So, the first case. Let's suppose that the other speaker, the person you are talking to, is speaking too fast or too quiet or you just didn't hear what he just said. Okay, so you want him to repeat what he said in order to understand better. You ask him or her, puoi ripetere, per favore? Puoi ripetere, per favore? So is can you repeat, please? Be careful. Remember that if you need to talk to someone older than you or you need to use the formal way to talk to this person, you have to say Può ripetere, per favore? Può ripetere, per favore? So, in this case, we are using the third person as we are using lei form, the formal way. The second case, the second question. Let's suppose that you really, really want to use a word that you don't know in Italian or that you just can't remember in that, in that moment. For example, for instance, let's suppose that you really want to use the word firefly, but it doesn't come to your mind, uh, the Italian word to say firefly. Sorry for my tongue twisting. <laughs> so you ask, come si dice firefly in Italiano? Come si dice plus the English word or the word you want to say in Italiano. Come si dice firefly in Italiano? Lucciola. Last but not least, ultimo ma non meno importante, um, let's suppose that um, the other speaker, the person you are talking to or the teacher, uh, suddenly uses a word that you don't know, that is not part of your vocabulary yet, and also you cannot understand what it means from the context of the sentence. So you want to ask her or him the meaning of that word. The, the question is, cosa significa lucciola? Cosa significa lucciola? Cosa significa plus the Italian word you don't know. I hope that these three lifesaver questions will be useful for your lessons and I wish you a great day. Buona giornata!